Okay, so I watched Blonde all the way back in October, and I hated it. It was unrelentingly painful to watch. More than anything else, I think it was a disservice to Marilyn. You could tell the filmmaker, writer and director Andrew Dominic, didn't particularly care for Marilyn. Dominic, who is on the record saying, and I quote, Marilyn Monroe, she's somebody who's become this huge central thing in a whole load of movies that nobody watches, right? Does anyone watch Marilyn Monroe movies? Like, my dude, you spent 10 years trying to make this film and you don't even like her? And I've been sitting with this for a while and I kept coming back to another tragic blonde, Laura Palmer. Laura Palmer is a character from the TV show Twin Peaks. Tell me some other things about her. She's in high school. She's using drugs. She's crying out for help. The show follows the investigation into Laura's death as well as the complex web of relationships and secrets that are uncovered in the small town of Twin Peaks. Laura is depicted as a popular and charismatic student, but also as a troubled individual whose experiences of pain and trauma in her personal life and her death have a profound impact. There'll be an announcement from the principal. <laughs> And the mystery of who killed her was a cultural phenomenon. For the better part of two television seasons, Twin Peaks and the travails of Laura Palmer intrigued American viewers. When Twin Peaks was canceled in 1992, director and show creator David Lynch, who had always intended to revisit Laura Palmer's world in movie form, began crafting a story that explored the last days of her life. He said, I always love Laura Palmer, and in the series she's dead, so I love the idea of seeing the last week of her life. And that exploration of the last week of her life became the film Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me. Before the film even begins, we know Laura is dead, murdered, her body found wrapped in plastic on the riverbank. In fact, we've only known her as dead. Throughout the initial run of the show's 30 episodes, we only saw Laura the way others saw her and remembered her. Laura is a ghost that haunts everyone in Twin Peaks, and her death is the thing that unravels the community and exposes a dark underbelly. Fire Walk With Me is Laura's story, and it's told with compassion and nuance. And when tackling a story of a fragile young woman dealing with emotional trauma coupled with abuse and addiction, those are definitely two components you don't want missing. To quote Collider, Lynch was able to create a disturbing analysis of trauma, guilt, and suffering as Laura's torment is shown in death. Fire Walk With Me isn't just an investigation into who was responsible for Laura's death. It analyzes the true nature of evil itself. The film gives Laura a voice. Her life and experiences are no longer filtered through the love, hate, admiration, revulsion, and lust of those who knew her. Cheryl Lee recalled, It was almost like I could feel her spirit or life force having more to say. When David started talking to me about the possibility of the film, it felt necessary for her to be able to have a voice. Like Blonde, Fire Walk With Me is a difficult watch. There's a lot of unsettling, uncomfortable imagery and themes. There's the worst kind of abuse. There's secrets, lies, assault, dysfunction, brutal family dynamics. The film is surreal, but it's also sympathetic and emotional. It illuminates elements of a story that we've already seen and opens mysteries to stories that are yet to be told. But overall, it's Laura's mystery. Who are you really? She, over the course of those last seven days, feels a compounding and approaching doom. When this kind of fire starts, it is very hard to put out. One of the more important things the film does is it provides a deeper exploration of the relationship between Laura and her best friend, Donna Hayward. Maura Kelly, who replaces Laura Flynn Boyle, infuses her portrayal of Donna with a stubborn gentleness. I do love you, Maura. I love you. She knows something is wrong and she is unable to help. And Laura, because she loves Donna, tries to protect her. Cheryl Lee in the role of Laura is devastating. Her emotions make pendulum swings that can happen on the turn of a dime. She's not always kind and at times can be vicious. Get lost, Bobby. Oh, yeah? What about this, James? 
She's a teenage schoolgirl in her plaid, pleated skirts, and mock neck sweaters, delivering meals on wheels, but she's also scared, tormented, and traumatized. And she uses drugs and sex as an escape. She's two people, light and dark. You don't even know me. She's aware that her destruction is inevitable, and it's the way that she faces that that is heartbreaking. Marilyn was a real person, a person who was exploited by the men around her and her industry, but her life was not devoid of joy, it was not devoid of friendships, and she was not devoid of agency. Laura Palmer is a fictional character, but David Lynch loves Laura Palmer. Although she arrived on our TV screens as a discarded body on a beach wrapped in plastic, David Lynch gave Laura her voice and her agency and a story that builds out life beyond her suffering and her trauma and her tragic end. When you watch Fire Walk With Me, even though we know how her story ends, it still packs a deep emotional punch because we still think she can find a way out of it. Like David Lynch, I love Laura Palmer. And the angels wouldn't help you because they've all gone away. There are 8 million stories in the cinema cities. This has been one.